Hello, we're going to look at deriving a long-run total cost equation from a CES production function. Uh, suppose the firm faces a wage of $20 and a price of capital of $10. Output is produced according to the CES production function, right here. And we want to derive the long-run total cost equation given this information. I will start by taking two partial derivatives to get the marginal product of labor and the marginal product of capital. So here's the marginal product of labor. I'm taking the partial derivative of the production function with respect to L. So I bring down the 2 in front. That's where this 2 is. And then 2 minus 1 just leaves this, what's in parentheses, raised to the power of 1. And then I'm going to look inside parentheses and then take the partial derivative of what's inside parentheses with respect to labor. So L to the 0.5 power, the partial derivative of that is what I have multiplied through here by what's in parentheses. A little simplification, 2 times 0.5 is just 1. So here is the marginal product of labor. The marginal product of capital, very similar partial derivative. Bring the 2 down in front. 2 minus 1 leaves what's in parentheses raised to the power of 1. Looking inside parentheses and then taking the partial derivative of what's inside parentheses with respect to capital, we get this result right here. Bring the 0.5 down in front of k, 0.5 minus 1 leaves k raised to the minus 0.5 power. And then noting that 2 times 0.5 is just 1, so here's the marginal product of capital. To um, find the, the cost minimizing input mix, so here's our optim, optimal condition here. Uh, we're going to higher inputs up to the point that the marginal product of labor divided by the wage equals the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. So plugging everything we know into this equation, the wage is 20, the price of capital is 10, and then the marginal products that we got from the first slide. Now we need to simplify this. Uh, I'm going to multiply both sides through by 20. So 20 divided by 10 is 2, and that leaves us with this next step right here. Uh, I'll note here that what we have in parentheses is identical on both sides. So if we're to divide through by what's in parentheses, uh, those terms will cancel. And now we're left with this result. Following the rules of exponents, L raised to the point minus 0 0.5 is just 1 over L to the 0 0.5. K raised to the minus 0 0.5 is just 1 over K to the 0 0.5. Uh, we still have this 2 here. And then multiplying both sides through by L to the 0.5, we're going to get 2 times L to the 0.5 over here on the right-hand side. And then multiplying everything through by K to the 0.5, we're left with K to the 0.5 on the left-hand side. To get rid of these uh, 0.5s, we're going to just square both sides. So K equals 4 times L, 2 squared is 4, L to the 0.5 squared is just L, so we get this key result. The next step, take this k equals 4l that we just found and plug it into the production function. So where I have k, I'm now going to have 4l. So it's going to be 4l all raised to the 0.5 power. So 4 to the 0.5 is 2. L to the 0.5 is just l to the 0.5. We can add these terms up in parentheses to get 3l to the 0.5. Now we're going to square what we have in parentheses, so 3 squared is 9, L to the 0.5 squared is just L. And we're going to solve this for L, so dividing through by 9, L equals Q over 9. We're going to take this result here, this L equals Q divided by 9, and plug it into the K equals 4L equation. And doing that, we get K equals... 4L, what is L? Q divided by 9. Uh, the next step, taking those key results, L equals Q divided by 9 and K equals 4Q divided by 9, we are going to start forming our long-run total cost equation, which is just W times L plus R times K. W is 20, R is 10. That's what we started with in this problem. What is L? 
L is Q divided by 9, so I make a substitution for L. And I'll also make a substitution for K, plugging in for Q divided by 9. Uh, just rewriting this, we get 20Q divided by 9 plus 40Q divided by 9. Adding these terms up, 60Q divided by 9. And then simplifying a little bit, our long-run total cost equation will be 20Q divided by 3. I hope you found this video helpful.